So I was an undergrad at Caltech, which is a na very natural place to have that realization. Because when I was younger, before I, got to before I got to college, I knew that I was good at math, but I knew that I wanted to understand gravity and, the st uh, you know, I wanted to understand. I, I didn't, but as a student, I didn't, as a gra young student, I didn't know what this was called. And then I got to Caltech, and almost from the first day you walk on campus, you find out that this thing was called, um, well, theoretical physics, let's say. And I immediately knew this was for me. This was the combination of what I was good at, which was math, and what I wanted to do, which was think about nature. This was the, I can almost date it to the, to the day, the place, the person who kind of explained this to me. Well, so for me, for some years now, the, uh, we've gotten closer and closer, I feel, to the big question, which is um, finding a unified theory. I don't know if we're close, we're just closer. Um, and the thing which mostly looms up is the, um, the unification of general relativity and quantum mechanics. And just in the last few years, it seems as though um, a number of threads have come together and, 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 um, and so right now we have this theoretical mathematical problem. How do we, you know, write down a sensible theory that has both general relativity and quantum mechanics, um, and, um, yet is sensible, doesn't, doesn't give you in some way a nonsense or inconsistency. It's a well-posed problem that we don't know how to answer, which means that the answer is probably very interesting.